So this video is just going to be showing you how to remove the dash on this 53 year old Plymouth uh, and towards the end it will be showing the internals of the gauge and how we fixed it in the end. Okay, so we're going to have some poor viewing angles at the beginning of this video. I've got a uh, manual focus lens on a DSLR on a tripod sat on the back seat looking over my shoulder. But um, further on in the video we'll have footage that I've taken on my phone showing all the important connectors and uh, plugs that you'll be needing to disconnect to remove the dash. And later on the dash will be on a workbench in a well lit workshop so you'll be able to see things a lot more clearly. And We'll take apart the, well, we'll remove the gauge and then we'll take apart the gauge to see the internals and figure out how we managed to fix this in the end after all. Get this one. If I remember rightly, there's either one, not there. Yeah, there we go. The magic one we want. I believe that's four screws in total. So we've got to remove all these plugs now. Can get this phone steady? Now I've got the wiper mode switch. Just about that's it coming off. Come on. Use that. Hey. Okay, now right at the back here, it's two cables for the alternator or voltmeter. So let's see if these are finger tight. They are not. One, so that's our lighting control switch. This little beauty right here. And we have another little plug down there. Okay, you can see the speedometer cable there. You've got a fuse box up in the back there. Mine's looking pretty dusty. You need to clean that up. Uh, you've got all your connectors here. You've got your. Sorry. Multi-pin plug, supplies power to all of your lights and indicators and all the lovely stuff. Turn for turn. And then this here is your light control switch. So this goes through to this lovely dial here. Selecting your lights. 
And over here you've got your voltmeter cables. Like these are fine because these have been disconnected. So you touch these together, absolutely fine. Battery's been disconnected. Uh, you've got your wiper motor plugs and some other plugs, which I'm not entirely sure they do. Yeah, overall, not too bad here. You can see the flasher relay there. Wire again to the cigarette lighter there. So the little black plugs on the back, they're actually the housings for the dash lights. If anyone knows how to remove the front connector of this switch so we can actually remove it completely, put a comment down below. With the screws removed and the gaps provided by loosening the switches, I just unbolted the gauge and pulled it out through the gaps in the housing of the uh, dash. Yeah. Probably not making a good connection, that. 